sickle cell anemia. What is it? It's a disease when the red blood cells is not the shape that it should be. Instead of the donut shape, like without a hole, um, which we call biconcave shape, it has a sickle, sickle shape instead, like a crescent moon. Um, but in this shape, the erythrocytes, which is the red blood cells, um, they are not only useless, but they are also very dangerous. The fibers of the hemoglobin in sickle, cell and, um, in sickle cells, um, they can't carry oxygen as well, and the misshapen cells can't go through capillaries. Um, this can cause blockages, which can be very painful and cause serious damage to tissues. So how can this happen? Let's go back to the beginning. In the red blood cells, there are globular proteins called hemoglobin, which carries oxygen. Um, proteins are polypeptides, um, which means poly means many and peptide refers to the amino acids, so there are many amino acids joined together. Um, the sequence of amino acid depends on the sequence of bases on the mRNA, um, the messenger RNA ribose nucleic acid, which is the, an exact copy of a gene. A gene is a bit of your DNA, which is like an instruction for a specific protein synthesis, in this case, the production of hemoglobin. So what went wrong in a sickle cell anemia? What went wrong in sickle cell anemia? Some sort of mutation occurred in the sequence of bases in the gene. It's actually a substitution mutation as suggested in the name. Um, one of the bases is substituted with a different one. There are 146 amino acids in the B chain of the hemoglobin, so you'd probably think it wouldn't make much of a difference. But it does. Instead of glutamate being coded, valine is coded instead. So when the polypeptide chain curl up and join to form a hemoglobin molecule, one of the sites that should be hydrophilic and interacts with water molecules, um, they don't like water molecules, they become hydrophobic. So it wants to interact with each other instead. Um, this sticks the hemoglobin together in a really long chain, like a fiber, and this pulls and this pulls the cell out of their usual biconcave shape, so it takes up the sickle shape. Like that. Mm -hmm. This just shows really how complicated us human beings are. A smallest of error can be so fatal. So take care of your body and stay healthy. Ah, yay! Alright then, bye! Oh, also, the codons that I used for the amino acids, they're not actually correct. I made it up um, for... I made it up on the spot so that I can kind of demonstrate to you. Um, but if you need to, you can look it up if you like. I don't know what you want to do. I'm not in control of your life. <laughs> okay then, bye, cool!